What is up players, it's Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Welcome to a video update on my project Carcaridons. My space sharks are coming along nicely. I've just laid down the base coats, the shades, and the highlights to my contender here. And before I go any further, I <laughs> wanted to show that I did paint up two weapons to go with him right now, the Assault Cannon and the Twin Link Laz Cannon. And these are interchangeable because I've magnetized them, which makes it uh, really easy and I guess, uh, I don't want to say easy, but really convenient for if my client wants to switch out the weapons with other weapons, just uh, change the posing on them, you can easily do that. And I'm getting more comfortable with magnets. I'm really pleased with how uh, easily I've kind of taken to them. The colors are exactly like the colors that I've used for the uh, Carcaridon's Terminators and you might remember I did a painting tutorial on how to paint them. I would use the same colors for a regular Carcaridon's Tactical Marine or even if you want to transfer them over to vehicles I would uh, transfer the colors because it's basically just painting, shading, and highlighting the armor plates. And uh, what I'm going to be doing next is getting into the weathering and then moving on to the uh, battle damage and this is uh, you might remember my terminators terminators this is what they're gonna eventually look like and you see some fine chipping and uh, weathering on the edges there I'm gonna be doing the free hand of course and a little bit of weathering which is uh, really nicely done on gray by doing a wash of Steel Legion Drab, amazingly enough. It creates a very nice dusty look. You don't have to go out and buy any expensive pigments or powders, and it just looks really, really nice. I also am going to be doing the uh, deep chipping kind of visual effect there, using some darker paints and some lighter paints, and then doing the verdigris and the highlighting of the gold, which will help to pop out the model even more. But like I said, this is just the first part and just an update on what I've been doing my, with my uh, Carcaridons, my sp space sharks there. And before I move on, I'm actually going to get onto the basing, which I did first for the Terminators because I wanted them to be standing on the, the coral, like the rocks of the battlefield. For this guy, I'm going to be doing it a little bit lower to the base. I didn't want it to be like propped up on a giant piece of cork and uh, what I'm going to be using for him is a little bit different. I'm going to be putting this black battleground ballast, this dirt or rocks I guess, and uh, I'm going to be mixing that with some uh, some paint so that I get like a nice gritty textured paint and I'm also going to be using a little maybe little pieces of cork to just put him in line with the other Terminators. But what I'm also going to be using, which I, th I think is going to be a lot of fun because I'm also going to use it on these Terminators as well, is this product that I purchased from my hobby store and it's called Winter Leichen Licken? Leichen? Winter Lichen. And um, it's going to be really cool because I'm going to be propping it up in between some of the cork. So instead of looking like, uh, you know, growths just kind of clump, clump together, clump growths and foliage, what I'm going to try to do is make them stick out in individual, I guess, branches and make it look like a coral coming up out of the ground. I'm going to try to see if I can make, make them attach to the rocks and to the ground in such a way that it looks almost like organic. Kind of like when you look into an aquarium of exotic fish and you see the coral pieces sticking out at funny angles. I'm uh, going to be trying to do that with my models here. Anyway, stay tuned because I'm also going to be doing a painting tutorial for Tiburos the Red Wake. He's the special character for the Carcaridons. You can purchase him from Forge World and I think he looks really terrific and I'm really uh, looking forward to painting him. So let me know if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them and if you have any comments or if you're painting Carcaridons yourself or if you know anyone who might be willing to part with a transfer sheet so I don't have to freehand everything, <laughs> that would be great too. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Do your taxes. Have a great one.